students clear out the second part of our tutorial. Our second problem is talking about present value of ordinary general annuity converted to the simple ordinary annuity. Question number one. The businessman borrows 1,550,000 pesos with the interest at 8% compounded quarterly. He agrees to discharge his obligation by making a series of equal semi-annually payments to the first payments due to the end of two years, to the last at the end of the eight years. Here are my points for this. It is said here that compounded quarterly so raises four and then semi-annually was two. And then here are the givens. So here are the givens. R stands for the amount of the periodic payment, I rate of the interest per conversion period, and K is the interest conversion period in a year divided in payment also in a year. The givens. R has, R has been, uh, been stated that it's the amount of the periodic payment. So in the problem, a businessman borrows a one million five hundred fifty thousand pesos so it's the given or the amount of the periodic payment so i stands for the rate interest per conversion period so we're going to convert convert the eight percent compounded quarterly into uh, from eight percent to zero point eight divided into the sum i compounded semi annually for so uh, zero point eight Divided, divided by 4 equals 0 0.2 and K stands for the interest conversion period in a year divided payment also in a year so the, quarter, the semi the uh, quarterly compounded quarterly 4 divided into semi annually 2 so 4 divided by 2 equals 2 so let's start now in solving this problem my preferred formula we're going to use B equals RI over uh, open those parentheses 1 plus I K minus 1. So remember, these all are constant. Now, as we well stated that the R is the periodic payment, so 1,550,000 times 0 0.2, which is the equals to the K or the interest conversion period, period. Over 1 is constant plus 0 0.02 to the power of 2, raised to 2, minus 1. So equivalent to B, 76. So here are the results. So let's now, so we, we get the, the result of the um, ordinary general annuity. So let's, go, let's now convert it into a simple ordinary annuity. So the formula to be used is S sub O equals R, 1 minus uh, 1 plus I raised to negative N over I. So, so we're going to use that one, S sub O. 76732.6.73 so so now if you have calculators you may use this one and you may gonna you can you can you can solve this one if and your calculator and you're gonna check if this will be the right answer so these are this is the right answer is this so yes it is eighteen thousand seven 18 million rather, 7,880.62. So here, now the result of the converted from ordinary general annuity to converted into simple ordinary annuity. So that's all for today for my tutorial. I'm again your host for today. It's very new. I hope you get some, um, you get some simple but quite difficult stages of how to get or to convert from the ordinary general entity to ordinary simple entity.